How do you defend a guy like that that can hurt you inside? And he's also now starting to prove that he can also beat you with a mid-range jumper. You pray? <laughs> That is North Carolina A&T head coach Jay Joyner talking about his strategy to defend UTEP big man Bryson Williams. As honest of an answer that you're ever going to get from a head coach, and to be honest, that might be a better game plan than we've seen all season against Williams and the Miners. UTEP hosting North Carolina A&T for the first round of the Don Haskins Sun Bowl Invitational. It's the longest standing holiday tournament in the country. Early on, it was that man again, Bryson Williams, knocking down the three ball. He finished with 21 points and 10 rebounds for a double-double animal style. The Aggies actually hung tough in this game, taking the lead at one point late in the first half, but then Sule Boom was not having it tonight. He fuels a run that puts the Miners up eight at the half. Second half, just more of the same. Daryl Edwards, He's getting in on the action, knocking down the tray, but the night belonged to Boom. Game high, 26 points, going 5 of 8 from deep. Miners win it 72-54 to advance to tomorrow night's championship game. So they get the winner of this game. You see Irvine and Kent State matching up in the early game. The Anteaters hop off their, hot off their 30-win season from a year ago, and the Golden Flash is off to an 8-1 and one start this season. First half action, that was Brad Green getting the scoring started. Kent State would respond with Philip Willing Whittington. Uh, he gets the floater to go in the lane, but the end eaters used a hot start to this game to build a lead that they would not let go of. Evan Leonard, the putback there, and then Tommy Rutherford. He'd get a couple more in the paint. UC Irvine wins it 73-68, so it'll be the Anteaters and the Miners for tomorrow's championship game. UTEP hasn't won this tournament since 2014.